If you travel, you know when it comes to love. See you soon. Can't wait. The sky is no limit. You know with your Delta Amex card, being oceans apart means meeting in Aruba. And booking a war travel with your card means saving 15% on Delta flights. You know kissing under the bridge of size guarantees eternal love. Because you're the long distance lovebirds. It's why you're a Delta Sky Miles Platinum American Express card member. If you travel, you know. Takeoff 15 discount not applicable to partner operated flights or taxes and fees. Terms apply. Visit go.amic slash you know. Hi, I'm Brian and I love Hallmark. What is it? Spring, Spring. movies. I'm Brian. I like Hallmark. Spring movies. Hi, I'm Dan and I despise Hallmark. Spring movies. And this is the Deck, Deck the, the Hallmark, Hallmark podcast. podcast. Deck the Hallmark. It's his podcast. <laughs> host this podcast we hope you like this jolly podcast hello everybody it is great 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 to be here today (laughs) Today. guys we uh we did it (laughs) we did it tuesday morning we We decided to do this one live it's we survived that's right we survived the eclipse sure did and again no rapture, which is just it's starting to believe. Maybe not man, what it's, it's all cracked up to be. All these signs and wonders just keep happening. We can't. It's then. So we're not going to uh, get to do this again until twenty forty four. Another one in the another science chance. column. Everybody. You know what's crazy though? <laughs> though there's one in twenty forty four that three states are, will see, and then t- the next year. A, f- a full drive by. I, I oh, just really? feel like yeah. I, I was a drive by. Uh, yeah, it's when it it's goes through the house. Uh, it's when it goes <laughs> over the entire continental. Oh wow. US. So, uh, so is, uh, also train, wait. not a drive by. <laughs> um, I, I was. Oh, 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 oh. I thought you might. I was told in 2017 yeah. that that was the last I one in my lifetime. I think this one snuck up. It snuck up on us. It Did snuck we, up on the school district. We it it snuck up on all of them. We which, all, by the way, <laughs> Greenville oh, County. God. I was already pretty peeved about this whole thing where we're eighty getting eighty two percent totality, but let's just cancel school willy nilly. Yeah. I, I, at the time, I didn't realize uh, what time the, the, the you know the eclipse would be happening and yeah. whatnot. I would have been home with my kid by the time the eclipse Correct. even. Well, I, yeah, would it well, reach like I, peak eclipse? On Sunday, Sunday, yeah. peak o'clock. on Sunday night, I looked it up and I was eclipse like, what the, what's God going on? It's, it's two straight hours and the most it gets is 86%. Cut. Like, it was still bright, a bright, sunshiny day in Greenville. It was. You could have been completely fine out yeah. there. Yeah. And after it happened, I was I, I was peeved too. Before yeah. then, I was like, you know what, Greenville County. No, I had a great day. Yeah. Great day. Had a great day with great my kids. Great day. Watched a movie, you know, went 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 and hunt, just did stuff. You went hunting? We we went, went hunting, hunting, yes. Hunting? Uh, we played some video games. We beat Super Mario Wonder on Switch. Ooh, my kid, congratulations. You can, yep. No, wow. Thank you. Yep. My kid, uh, my seven-and-a-half-year-old boy, Jay, he looked at me as he went to sleep, and he looked at me and he said, Dad, this is the best video game day of my life. <laughs> That's what he said. Hey, the, did you get the things? Yeah, that was nice. he got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the best video too. game day wow. of my life. That's, That's exactly impressive. right. He'll never and forget that. We only that. play like two hours of video games a week, maybe. So, it's a big day. The wow. best video a game very, day of his life. Very brand. So, thank you, Greenville County. Now, I also encountered an earthquake over the weekend. You sure yeah, you did? Were, you were I in was in New York City. Real survivor. Here. I was in New York City, and the earthquake happened, and. Even New Yorkers were taken aback by this. And that's how you know this is a truly special event. Um, and so, you know, I've had a busy couple of days between did the you earthquake feel and the. Yeah, dude. You did? did you yeah. feel the mountains tremble? I felt the mountains tremble. Did you know what to do? Did I, you run outside in your underwear like is, you're supposed to? This isn't. This is. This oh, was you're not the, supposed to do that? So I was in uh, a sixth floor of an apartment. In New York City, while this is happening, I think that in the and underwear. Yep. Um, yes, my you. first That's thought, right. my first thought was something terrible <laughs> happened. It. Yes. Second thought, because of especially where sound was coming from, I saw, thought somebody might be knocking boots uh, above us, but Obviously, real hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my, my third was. <laughs> Lord's so coming back. Normal. Fourth earthquake. That's how. That <laughs> three that, was Lord's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. you said, wait a second. The eclipse is coming. That has to be that. I know. Um, I know. There's this no can't way be the, the rapture happens before yeah, the no, event no that's no supposed to lead to the rapture. That's exactly right. That's why it was yeah, so. It was so late. And I mean the 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 fact that I was still. I, again, I don't know the, how it's all going to happen, but. I think I get taken pretty quick. <laughs> you know, like, I, I don't yeah. think... Oh, I yeah. think Do you think there's a priority list for the fake rapture? 
No, 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 no. I'm talking like like it's a, like a weakness. I'm talking like how it's like actually going to transpire. I think there there will be some tremblings of the mountains, and then but then I'm like I don't know. I but I felt like you would know. There'd be some sort of horn of sorts. I don't know. An alarm, I yeah. think I, I the reason why it wasn't my first is there was no horn. Mm. We should fake I, rap I thought, for Brand one I day. thought for sure we should bring TV if he's willing to believe there's a horn coming. Ultimate I thought for TV. sure there'd be a horn. TV. Yeah. Yeah. Higher prank TV after yes. that. Yeah, we, yeah, we, ra- we fake we rap ra- your brain. <laughs> Anytime I hear a horn out in public, I assume. I assume That's this is it. You start and taking your shoes off. You gotta stop sounding horns in public. Everybody thinks they're left know. behind. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I went to uh, Papa's and Beer on Sunday, and there was a... <laughs> Shout out. The funniest trumpet player i've ever heard uh he really had a hard time with one of the songs and it was amazing so shout Live out to that music shout at out. Papas and beer were you in hell yeah. <laughs> it was loud it's loud in there it's loud in there it's loud in there hey let's talk about uh blind date book oh, club, day shall book we club. blind date book did club did you sing it over the weekend at all <laughs> i listened to that the whole way here that's all that's yeah, all i can song, think of what song, is it the, the blind the date song book? Uh, i think it's craig morgan uh, a yeah. redneck yacht club <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Oh, it lines up perfect. Uh, it April, lines up so perfect. Yeah. April 6, 2024 uh, <laughs> is where you could have watched on Philo, of course. Philo. 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 Uh, and it went a little something like this. Uh, Meg is running um, what was, I don't know, Stash her mom's house. book club. <laughs> now she co-owns it with her aunt. She's made some big changes since her mom's passed away. Uh, uh, Apple Pay, Blind Date with a book club. That's what they say. Uh, she's nervous, though, uh, that she's not going, that her aunt who's coming into town is not going to like all the changes that she made and is going to throw a little bit of a hissy fit. We then meet a best selling author, Graham Sterling, uh, who is wanting to do something new in his in his career even though he's supposed to be writing the eighth book in his very popular ya book series he says i want to do something new it's a historical romance is what i want to do and so he actually has this book written his agent's like i don't want any part of this uh, meg's being interviewed on the radio and is surprised that the interviewer only wants to talk about the blind day book club it is huge. The Blind Day Book Club, everybody's talking about it from around the world. And uh, they're coming to this book club where you blind date and book and stuff. Uh, Graham is listening to the interview in the radio, on, on, on the radio, in the car, and is taken aback when Meg is talking about this book club. He's like, this is exactly what I need. He's Coincidentally, they end up meeting when somebody asks Meg to take a picture of them. Graham just happens to be there and is like, oh my God, you, me, what? They get a picture taken with each other. He goes to the bookstore. They bump into each other again and she asked if uh, he asked her if she would consider reading this book. And uh, she's like, well, if I find the time, I guess maybe I can. And would you also mind maybe putting it into the blind date book, book club? club. <laughs> and she's like, I don't, that's not, I don't think that's what I do. Uh, that's when he's like, okay, here's the deal. I'm actually, uh, I'm Graham. I, I, I want to, I'm self publishing this book. Please give it a shot. Um, and why? Because uh, he, d- she decides I'm going to give this a shot because her aunt wants out. Mm. And she has to decide, is this what I really want to do? I don't know. She immediately begins to consider going back to become a real estate agent. And, uh, real estate you know, <laughs> it could be good for her. She and agent. Graham hang out some more, uh, giving him feedback on his book. To thank her, he takes her out to dinner. They have a great time. He walks her home, and they kiss. It's time for the book club, where they're all going to talk about Graham's secret book. Now, him and Meg know that he is Graham, Mm -hmm. but the book is under a pseudonym. A pseudonym. And And so uh, everyone else, I'm pseudonym. Everyone else (laughs) doesn't know that this is written by a famous author, and And they won't know. They mm-hmm. well, no way they're finding that out. Well. They <laughs> don't like the book. They talk about that this book is trash, uh, <laughs> etc. And uh, that's unfortunate. And then it comes out. Hey guys, Been there. Uh, you may recognize me. <laughs> I am Graham, and I actually wrote the book. And now they're like, "What is going on here? Can I have your address? <laughs> Why did 
Meg, pick this book. Is are you guys do like? Is there some Can shenanigans your going? Your aud- autograph uh, and You're address. Famous? I, Can I have your address? Can I have your address? You guys want to ask the famous, famous people the you meet? Um, and they're like questioning like her integrity of the of the book club. It's like, wh- why did you actually pick this book? Um, in the heat of the moment, Meg says, "You know what? I'm selling the." bookshop mm. graham realizes that his book is trash and uh but has learned some lessons along the way and he applies those lessons to the eighth installment of the series which his agent absolutely loved and his agent's like you know what polish that bad boy up we'll see what we can do with it don't let it don't give up on your dreams and after seeing how much the book club in the bookstore is meant to people Meg decides that she wants to keep it so Graham surprises her at the bookstore and is like hey I told my sister about you she's a big fan and I guess if she's a big fan we should give this a shot and they're like yay let's do that they kiss and that my friends was it's a Monday book book club club. I don't know we enough about that a melody to sing blind it. You'd love book it. Club. I feel like you'd I love it. I think you'd love it. You're a big country music guy. <laughs> it's a blind date. It's a blind, blind date book club. club. <laughs> it's a blind date book club. <laughs> That's good too. Having a blind date. Reading a book. It's a blind date book club. Drink it. <laughs> We're gonna take he a quick even break. Make a country song when he tries. <laughs> he goes. He goes away from it so yeah. quickly. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna come back. We're gonna break this movie down yeah. with our four segments here on Deck, Deck the, the Hallmark. Hallmark. Okay, that's not great. We all were a second late. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I don't know about you. Hair thinning sucks. I'll say it. You, you'll say I'll it. I'll say it. I'll put it out there. It's not a problem mm-hmm. for you. It's, it's not a problem it's for a me. Problem I look for me. at you and I'm like, that sucks yeah, for you. Yeah, it does. Do you know how often that I'm just like, I'm going to shave my head. I'm going to shave my head. I'd just rather not deal with it. Well, I was going to shave my head. You were. And then Nutrafol said, why don't you try this first? And I didn't want to try a product that was bad for me. No. I didn't want to do that. No, you did not. But what they sent me is something that dermatologists recommend. It's the number one. That's right. Because it's a bunch of natural ingredients. It's not a bunch of chemicals. It's biotin. It's zinc. It's a bunch of vitamins. I love vitamins. You take it. It, it, it has been proven in men and women to make your hair thicker. That's right. And what you're taking is good for you. It's a supplement you can take every day. So it's win-win. So I've been trying it. My barber says he notices new new hair growth patterns. And here's all you Wait, do you, guys, do you guys actually know I, I've i used Nutrafol, but I paid for it. Wow. When I lost a bunch of hair when I was sick, it really works. I know this is an ad, but I have actually used no, it. Thank yeah. you. It's well, really he- good. Here's the thing. If you want to do use it again, Jax, we do have a code for you in a second. Mm-hmm. But our, to our listeners in our, in our, that are listening, Nutrafol, they have a three-minute quiz. And all mm-hmm. it's trying to do is uh, figure out uh, the underlying root causes that are keeping you from reaching your your full hair potential. That's what it does. And here's the thing. You can start your hair growth journey today by taking Nutrafol's hair wellness quiz. Get your personalized hair health plan today for a limited time. Nutrafol is offering our listeners $10 off your first month subscription, and you don't got to pay for shipping. It's free. Uh, Nutrafol.com slash quiz. When you enter the promo code DEG, you take that quiz, you get started reaching your whole, your full hair wellness goals of Nutrafol today. Nutrafol.com. Spell it, Dan. N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L dot com slash quiz. Promo code DEG. That's Nutrafol.com slash quiz. Promo code DEG. It was like you couldn't start till he started, and I couldn't <laughs> yeah, start till you till started. Me, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and somehow me. I was also late. Yeah, it was a, it's, a, it's a mystery. We're talking about Blind Date Book Club, uh, mm-hmm. the Saturday Night Hallmark Channel release. Aaron Krako, of course, of course, the big movie premiere before the big Blink 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 calls, calls the heart, the heart yeah. premiere. Good synergy there, I will say. But is it enough to save this movie? Let's find out. It's time for the hot take. It is where we share exactly how we felt about this movie, and I will start with you. Brian, what do you think of mm. the Blind Date Book Club? Nice use of synergy, first of all. Thank yeah, you. No, really, really nicely good. done. Yeah, I'm synergetic. Obviously, no, um, you lost it. You put the sin in synergy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, you're so happy. You were really that. proud of that. It was only I okay. Was, I was cutting the grass the other day, and I remembered the test and testament. I was like, I'm going to call that back sometime. Uh, test yeah. and testimony. Whatever, you know. <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and so that worked out great. 
This uh, I feel like we were pretty hard on this one in the preview. Oh well, yeah, I meant because we just didn't understand. There. Yeah, we didn't understand. Hey, it at Aaron, all. could you turn off the reactions that just happened again? They keep going. <laughs> no, on. you're fine. Here we go. You're fine. Thumbs up. <laughs> uh, and I was uh, like, we had a better. I we liked this more when we thought it was a different type of movie, and so I figure forget where it landed for me. But I ended up really liking this movie, and I felt like the th- the problems we had were were like this sounds like it should be a dating thing. Like they yeah. kind of joked about it in the like the they NPR did. lyric kept kept bringing it up, and I'm like, all right, so. It wasn't just us, like. Everybody- my, but I, I, I will say I kept thinking they know there should they know that this would be a better movie if it yeah. was like right. They even know it exactly. So they joked about it instead of making it, right? Which was which weird. Is, it's a me. weird move. Yes, weird but move. they did know it. You're right. So that that I was surprised. I was pleasantly surprised. The reading community, I feel like it did. Like it was great ode to readers and to writers. It was a great ode to readers. Yeah. Like they did a good job representing. How much did they I, own? I love that you are speaking for, and I want to get this yeah, straight: the reading and writing the community, the reading community, <laughs> and the writing community. That's literally most of the developed earth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I feel like I got they enough. did well by yeah six six billion of us. Yeah, <laughs> they were doing what's right for the six. I'm working billion on being lesson. included in this number, guys. <laughs> you're, right. you're almost Brand's there. Brand's gonna get there. I'm working on it. Yeah, you're, you're almost there. Well, I think. Hey. I think I'm you're included. For, I'm going to speak for 75% yeah. of the planet Earth. Yeah, minimum. <laughs> uh, so I feel like they did a good job. Like, it made me want to be around the uh, in the reading community more than I already am. <laughs> so, good job. Like I said, we they... got to get reading they, community shirts, <laughs> I think, at some point. Uh, you know what I was glad about? They didn't stretch out the lie, his name. Yeah, not, they didn't. That yeah, was no, nice. I'm not doing yeah. that. Showed a lot of integrity uh, there. So... Uh, yeah, and she had some. I feel like she had some stakes here. Her, her credibility was really at stake. Ribeye, or yeah, it oh. was a rare ribeye is where she was at there. So yeah, I ended up liking it more than I expected. I was pleasantly surprised. I had a real good time. Me and the reading community, we all <laughs> liked it a lot. Um, you yeah, speak for all oxygen. L- I, listen, I, I guess I'm uh, now a part of the reading community because I also enjoyed this movie. You made it. Um, I, I I've said it before. I don't think that there's anybody on the network that plays the this guy's I like this guy face more than Krakow. She just really does that. Yep. Oh my gosh, this guy. And um, it's hard not to be like this is a, it, she's charming. She's charming in this movie. She's charming in all the things that she does. Um, I don't know if I necessarily bought the two of them even by the end of this movie as as people that are in uh, you know strong like with each other. But uh, I I was surprised by this movie. I did quite enjoy it. It was um it was a slow paced movie, but it didn't feel boring. It just felt like this is nice. Yeah. It was nice, um, much like whatever city it is that they are Nantucket. living in. Nantucket, Nantucket. Yeah. a nice little town. <laughs> it's nice. It's not boring. It's very it's nice. 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 <laughs> okay. And that's how I felt about this movie. Uh, I quite enjoyed it. Dana. Right. Yeah, I was. Kind of into this movie through the first date. I think when they kiss at the end of that first date, I was like, are they making a really like quality like movie here? And then I realized there was still like 32 minutes left in this thing. And then at that point, it kind of shifts gears into a very formulaic what you expect from Hallmark. And somehow it slows down too. And so the first 60% or so, I was on board with. I like Buckley and, and Krako. Normally, I think Robert Buckley is funny first and not usually like best chemistry necessarily with with, with the other leads. But in this movie, I actually thought their chemistry was fine, if not really good. Uh, that kiss at the end of the first date felt like two grown adults who had just gone on a first date. That made a lot of sense. You thought it was a good kiss, and though? I thought it was a great kiss. And then at, and then at the end of this, That's after that... Just after, about wait. After that happens, I felt... Like the the last thirty two minutes of this movie was really, really stupid. Just like you gotta find what made you write these seven YA novels somewhere in, in you again. And I'm selling the bookstore. No, I'm not. A dumb misunderstanding. The way the bookstore finds out, is he really famous? Is he not? So the last thirty two minutes I kinda hated. The first forty five fifty I was really on board with. All that to say, this crop of movies this year hasn't been great. And so this, if I'm ranking them, this has to be up there near oh, the yeah. top oh, right yeah. now. Sure. Because definitely. I think the first 45 or 50 minutes were 
were that strong. And then I liked a lot of what they did. They didn't like let the name thing go on too long with her. Mm. I thought that was really good. And then I thought the last 30 minutes of this fell completely apart. And I, that was unfortunate. And I like that his book, the book sucked. And it like, it wasn't like, Hey, just, yes. it wasn't just that's Aaron. It, feels. it wasn't just for Cal. Well that's then let's do it. It's time for all the feels. Dan, kick us off. Yeah, yeah, please. The fact that they just let this guy who's a professional <laughs> and is successful just have written a bad book is great. Like, I, I yeah. can't overstate the fact that that just doesn't happen in these movies. You don't have somebody who is, like, he's confident, bordering on arrogant, he's good, he knows he's good, he's well-spoken, he's successful at his job, and dude just wrote a bad book. Like, you keep thinking that the the Savior is coming. <laughs> no pun intended. No, but there's no horn. There's no horn happening. You think it's ha- it's going to happen. No, book sucks. It's bad. And Even when the um, the people find out who he is... One of the readers is like, "You're a great writer, not this, but <laughs> yeah. that's right. And you know, I, your other books, yeah." Are great. And so I appreciated that he just had to figure out a way to be honest with himself and go, "You know what? This isn't very good." And that's that is that is a, a level of, of character and integrity that Hallmark mm. typically does not show. So I really appreciated that. Mm. Brian, yeah, mine is sort of tangential to that, and it's can't say that here. Uh, yeah, tangential oh, sounds man. like it. <laughs> It was gentle, though. It was like it was super gentle. gentle. <laughs> it's it's uh, kind of gentle. It was, it was somebody. There's some. Go ahead. Yep. Yeah, we'll get back to that. <laughs> it was just getting feedback from somebody on something you created was my feels. Him like being able to sit with somebody and have them like, okay, this is exactly what I thought, and he's literally taking notes on her just tearing his work apart, and then he gets to sit there anonymously. Can mm-hmm. I say that? Yes. And that. hear people talk about his stuff without knowing it's him, so it gloves Perfect. are off. Yeah. That whole... I, it's like attending your funeral. I love, it's yes, really like a yes, great bit. I love yeah. that. I was so jealous of that. Hey, scenario. Aaron. What are your thoughts on when Brian comes in and gives you feedback on graphics that you're working on? Do we have to, do this, year? Do we have to do this here? <laughs> you look like you're going to throw up right now, right? Um, I'm making a mess of the day. You sure are. Um, yeah, so Brian has this knack where I am just about ready to hit download on a graphic that I've been working on pretty much all day. And Brian would be like, so hey, are you thinking you of changing this? And I'm like, Is that a placeholder it? you got up there? Or are we going to add some real stuff? Or Every time. He just comes in, looks at just it for five time. seconds. Like, oh, me. I see where you're going, but you're not done yet, right? But at least he's a get. At least he's not just a taker. He's a giver too. He, you know, he's not one of those people that that's just right. like, "Hey, love me he, the way I want to be loved," no, and I'm just gonna no, no, not no. do anything. That's true. He, yeah. he practices yes. what yes. he wa- preaches. Dishes it right out. True. Yes, he dishes it right out. That's right. For better or worse, mostly um, worse. Yeah. I love the shot of when she walks inside after the kiss. She goes and leans up yeah. against the wall, and you can see you him can see still outside. Yes. And it's a really cool way to show both of them and how they're responding in that moment and i thought that, that was really uh really well done it's like a real life both hand about yes. yes uh not it's it's like a, a, a split one screen the, but one not of the better shots screen. we've seen all year yeah very really cool. really I love good this one. that was that was decent okay yeah thanks it's still up there next time like not <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. Wow. Came all the way back down. Uh, <laughs> let's uh let's take a quick break. We'll come back. We'll get to the way what the what the hallmark here on. Deck the hallmark. Deck the hallmark, Deck the hallmark. Deck the hallmark. Deck the hallmark. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> I was trying to you jumped way early on that. Well, I was right with him. If you travel, you know when it comes to love. See you soon. Can't wait. The sky is no limit. You know with your Delta Amex card, being oceans apart means meeting in Aruba. And booking a war travel with your card means saving 15% on Delta flights. You know, kissing under the bridge of sighs guarantees eternal love because you're the long distance lovebirds. It's why you're a Delta Sky Miles Platinum American Express card member. If you travel, you know. Takeoff 15 discount not applicable to partner operated flights or taxes and fees. Terms apply. Visit go.amex slash you know. Welcome, Welcome back, everybody. everybody. <laughs> We're having a good time. Uh, nope. Um... <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm having, having a good, good time. time. I'm, I'm watching, watching this, this movie, movie on, on Philo. Philo. I'm, I'm, I'm loving, loving my life. You can watch, watch this episode on Philo. Philo.tv slash DTH. Let's get to the way what. It is where we share our uh, the moments in this movie that made us go, wait, what? what? Brian? Yeah, just 
real quick, I'm just going to breeze by it. <clears throat> Someone would definitely recognize this face. Yes. Like somebody in a book. Yes. Still, like somebody at some point. You can <clears throat> either have him famous enough to recognize or not. Yeah. Yeah. You it's, can't you can't do just, both. You can't they're just playing roulette with this this yeah. thing. Like, oh don't worry about it. Like his face I mean, is on every book. He, that, my thing is he's he's clearly not famous enough to be mauled in the street because he's right. walking wherever he goes, no one ever bothers him. Yeah. So I had a problem with him being recognized at all. That's where I stood on it. But yeah. also it's it, you just can't have it both ways. Yeah. Uh the uh, reserving spots in a bar can't be a thing. Like in our society. At the actual bar itself. At the bar. Like, yes, because... Via, via sign. You can't do that. Like, I... <laughs> the fact, yes. You, there, there's so, go ahead. I just assumed it was because he was a famous author that like he called... It shouldn't matter family. because... Here's why. It's Nantucket. It, it's a small it, town. They here's, do what they want. The way I understood that was he's a big deal and got a yeah. reservation... Which doesn't make sense because no one recognizes him. Bar, but he right. decided to do that at, at the bar, which is super public and in front yeah, of everybody. Yeah, I with just, a reserved sign. Yeah, yeah. That's did, wild. did he go in there and just write that reserved there? Yeah. Exactly where it was yeah. is unbelievable. Like yeah. I, he I didn't am, talk to anybody at the uh, the, the, the front. Just right yeah. in. I think he went there earlier in just the put evening, those down? put those down, and said. <laughs> hoping for the best. Like, <laughs> hopefully, no one moves. The them. problem with that is, I am anxious enough walking into any sp- like restaurant space where you got to figure out what you're doing. Like, at least a <laughs> bar, I always know. You know what? You know why that's funny? It's because it's so true, dude. Everywhere I'm looking, I'm like, I don't know what to do. At least in a bar, like you always know. Bars are a free for all. Like, you know what another good prank TV would be is oh, we on. all decide to go in and do something <laughs> weird in a restaurant oh. to just see if yeah. he does it. Yeah, that would yeah, be that'd be we all go and just yeah, sit man. on the floor, that'd or we do great, something man. like we start like singing our Christmas tree. Outside. We just do something. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the head real I quick. Love it. Sorry, or we, or we just move this entire office and don't tell him. <laughs> I won't know what to do, man. Yeah. What do I do? We fire him. He, he actually he gets a uh, he calls ahead and asks for a blueprint of the establishment before going to. He's like, can I? I know this might be. I've weird. driven to places and there's not been a clear spot to park, and I've just driven home. Like I've done this move where I'm like, I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> So you walk like if you walk into a bar and the bar should be sacred like it should always be first come a, first serve yes and well, if you walk in and we're reserving them like what am I gonna yeah. do if I see that they're reserving oh. bar seats it is a place that I'm probably not. yeah you don't want to be there yeah, yeah. so yeah. and lobster ice cream get out of here that's just disgusting get, yeah just I wrote disgusting. down lobster ice cream get I don't want here. any part lobster of ice cream is disgusting what yes. I, I I'm trying to. Um, in my mouth think about how it would be and I don't want it to be no no it's got to be grosser than what did we have the hot dog candy canes the hot it's, dog and then we had some sort of jelly bean that was like that's really, what it, it has to be worse than that, that throw up just smelling so it. gross yeah. so that's enough for me um I, so he has a good relationship with his sister mm. and you know he talks on the phone with her on a regular mm. basis uh, does get the thumbs up approval uh that he needs to date her at the end but um she does a thing where he's on the phone with her and she's like, no one's here right now. And she, and he's like, well, why don't uh, I go? And you can have the, the night to yourself. And she's like, no, but whisper. And then they have a whisper conversation. And I just didn't like it. I just, <laughs> yeah. by and large, Fair. didn't didn't enjoy that. Yeah. And I just want to put it on the record. I didn't know it was a thing that I didn't like. I don't like, apparently, hearing two people whisper on TV. I don't want any part of that. And so I just wanted to put it out there in the universe. This radio host is <laughs> fascinating. Uh, because this radio host <laughs> is somebody who goes to a bookstore and interviews somebody live yeah, uh, on the, on the radio, radio yes. Yes. which is great. Yeah. Yeah. She's also a radio person that does apparently lo- long form hard hitting journalism. That's right. She's like going yes. back and I'm getting, I'm getting a follow up, but this isn't live anymore. I'm now researching. I've gone from doing the live interviews to now being the person That's who's right. doing long, long form <laughs> investigative, investigative yeah. research <laughs> right. on uh, book stores in Nantucket. Mm-hmm. And she's just a fascinating person to me. Yeah. Uh, that that person exists. Um, no one else in the book club read the book aside from the, the one couple yeah. <laughs> that was giving the feedback. 100%. No one after, after uh, the front row says yeah, a thing. It may have something to do with all everybody else being extras, but I'm yeah. not convinced that any of them read the book. Um, and it's probably for the best because it, um, it, was, it was garbage. But, Dan, you mentioned that you... That you thought it was a good kiss. Yeah. 
I I thought I thought the idea was a was good. Okay. Didn't think it was a good kiss at all. In fact, oh I have seen spicier kisses in the 1910s with Aaron Cranko than right here in this movie. Not spicy, not good. Didn't the, like it. I thought that kiss was better than the kiss at the end. Yeah, I didn't think either yeah, of them were. I good. thought the kiss at the end was a little suspect. Listen, I think I I I, I uh, that's why I had a hard time with the the chemistry. I like them when they're talking, and then they start kissing. I'm like, you two don't like each other. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's that, vibe. that was my vibe. I didn't I'm just that. saying what I'm saying. I don't like hard kisses, and I don't like bad kisses. I didn't get that vibe at all, man. But good for you. Fine, fine. No. I'm just viber. <laughs> And you go once again. You're not. You're not speaking for him. You're speaking no. for the reading community. That's right. Okay, just making yeah, sure. Absolutely. Got it. Um, I don't think they know what national public radio is in this movie. They no. say national public radio several times because I can only assume they can't say NPR. That's the best I can figure. NPR does not go live on a random Tuesday. They don't. The, the the structure of this entire movie is built on Robert Buckley's character listening to NPR yeah. and catching a live yeah. radio broadcast. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> no. We and I. The reason I know that is is Brandon and I have a little bit of of uh, experience with with our local NPR station, and the amount of time they take to make sure everything sounds exactly how they want it to sound. Is impressive. So that's a little they're hostility not, there. They're, they're, no, no, no. It's great. <laughs> they're not going to send. It's, it's, yeah, that was okay, but can we just get one more? Did, one more take. It's tangentile. It's yeah, tangentile. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. At best. We, oh, we, we're here for everybody. They're not just the tangentiles. No, of course. <laughs> I, uh, but the thing is, is they're not going to send any hosts in there just to freewheel interview somebody live. They're not going to do that. So the fact that Buckley hears it is crazy. My next wait what is a really positive wait what? Oh, uh, good. Nantucket is 85% white. <laughs> that is the actual demographic. We have found in Nantucket the most diverse bookstore <laughs> In, in, in like yeah. Nantucket's ever seen. Yeah. It is it's unbelievable considering how eight and a half out of every ten people you see in Nantucket are white. <laughs> this bookstore is like where everyone that isn't white hangs out in one bookstore. Very very impressive. It's almost like it was actually Canada. Um, the room where they meet, where dude uh, Buckley meets his boss. When I when they first walk in, you see a big picture in the background of his book series, parachutes and whatever, yeah. uh, hang gliders, yeah, whatever it is, parachutes and hang gliders, shoots and yeah, whatever, shoots and ladders. Um, yeah. And I thought it was like on a TV screen shoots that they were doing just to like pump him up. And then as they're talking in that boardroom, you see that it's not; they're actual posters, and they've they cover every wall yeah. in there. Why? It's a big deal. I understand, but what else are they using that? Is it just the Buckley room? Yeah, <laughs> like it's, yeah. it's just the room where we put all of the posters from this seven book series. You know, in be one funny room. If, if that changed when he wasn't like, if they did that, well, that for was him. My thing is, is but I it thought, it, change, but no, yeah. it's a. But then later yeah. we see the room again, Same thing, and yeah. it is turned into his boss, his his agent's office. Yeah. <laughs> his agent now has a desk in there, but it's <laughs> the same room. Um, so you know, be better there, I guess. Uh, at one point, uh, her friend who does recognize Graham Sterling is writing. The, and Graham comes in and goes, are you writing? And she goes, can you call it that if you don't get paid? Yes. <laughs> the, uh, that, that is more offensive to the writing community than Brian speaking for the reading community. <laughs> wow. Uh, most writers aren't I'm, I'm here paid. to speak on behalf of them, and they're yes. okay with that. You would yeah. have more cred to speak on behalf of the writing community, I think, than the reading community. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Yes. I'll do that too then. Yes, it is. Um, I cannot believe that I, we got to me and no one mentioned that somehow Graham Sterling door dashed an open air basket of muffins. Mm. He door dashed delivered in the morning a open air. Those muffins could have been anywhere. I'm not a germaphobe, but if I open my door to a uh, someone that's rung the doorbell and left and I don't see him and there's a basket of muffins with no top on them and no label of where they came from, not eating those muffins, especially if there's a note in calligraphy on top of those muffins. What kind of muffins? I, you're you're good. Um, depending I'd on chocolate probably, chip, probably give. Oh, 100%. yeah, right. Yeah. You're in chocolate blueberry. It's yeah. a basket of open air muffins. You don't know where they came what if from. They're still warm. You guys are in. <laughs> what if they're yeah. still warm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Three out of one. Yeah, three out of four. We're all here. trying the muffins. Yeah. Okay. Good for you guys. Uh, last but not least, You're throwing out the calligraphy. If it's, uh, if it's coffee cake. It, uh, <laughs> forget about it. Yeah. You could just inject those yeah. with diseases. Yeah, I would eat them. Um, At least I'd die happy. Last but not least, and this is a, this is one that I just was like, I'm trying to forgive and I can't. So his new book is a historical romance. So it takes place in the past and it's a romance. And people keep talking about how they didn't feel the romance. And he finally says, I'm going to give this book another shot. I have to live it first. You cannot live in the past. You can't do it. You cannot live a, a historically based romance. You can't, you can't do that. I think he meant that, his, specifically the romance. The yes, part of it. I'm yeah. sure that's what he yeah. meant. But that's not what he said, and that's not why the movie was bad. I thought I, that too, though. It was real stupid. Like, I, real stupid. The, the I, problem was... What you don't know is is he's all, he's close to figuring he's out close time to travel. Crack it he's close. Of course. He's exciting. close. That's yeah, exciting. Yeah, yeah. I just got to work through it. Got to write through it. That's right. Uh, it's time for what the hallmarks where we wonder what could have been. Maybe have it give us some clear any questions that we still have. Brian? Yeah, I just, uh, one thing that, that sort of kept taking me out was why was she so worried about going on her own? Like, this seemed <laughs> like this shop was pretty established by now. Yeah. Like, the place is always bumping. Packed. Yes. For a bookstore? Are you place kidding me? Bumping. All these great events. Like, what's, why, what is the big deal that the aunt wants out? Like, you, you've been in business dozens of years. I don't know. Her mom started it. Like, she could easily get a loan. To do this on her own, if she had to. I can't imagine she would even need to. Yeah. So I just was like, "What's the big deal? Like this place runs itself at this point, you know? Runs itself. What runs we, itself. Line date book club. That's what it is. Line date book club. I I want to take you guys back to the uh, the initial meet cute on the boardwalk yeah, the, yeah, or yeah. whatever. What was he doing there? Um, because the, there's a family. It's a weird meat. Uh, there's it was a weird meat. There's, so there's a family. Be out. On there's a, there's a family. There's oh, yeah. um Aaron Krako, and this family says, "Can you take a picture?" And 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 he's just kind of like this, standing <laughs> yeah, there. Right. There. I don't know what he's doing. No. Nope. And and he's then he's. And, I, I don't. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah. Especially because the only reason he is in this town is because he heard an interview on the radio on with a book club. Yeah. Go straight to the book club. Go to the bookstore. Yes. He's yes. over there just standing Correct. all. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at that? Would you look at this? Would you look at that? Uh, I, it was a. I, I don't even really know, know what the what the hallmark is other than. Well, that was weird, hey, what right? What you looking at there? What you looking at there? What you looking at there? No, my, my my what the hallmark is what you looking at? What you looking at? Yeah. What you looking at? Then, um, yeah. Why can't we pay the child actors in this movie? There, there is several scenes with uh, Graham Sterling's nieces, and they never talk. And then they're sitting at the table for breakfast the morning that she gets the DoorDash open air basket of muffins. Delicious looking muffins, and yeah. she's like, "All right, we've got <laughs> we've got uh, we've got this and this for breakfast, and we've." pan over the kids silent and you know how kids when they sit at bar stools very well behaved notoriously silent <laughs> notoriously no one makes a sound no one does better with bar stools than kids. that's right kids are <laughs> amazing known for. Yeah. especially you get them to swivel oh. kids couldn't be more still and quiet it is like man it's better than video games really you get a couple of them um, next to each other too oh my gosh yeah, next, they, they don't instigate at all so then i'm like these originally is a way what these are the quietest kids ever as soon as she walks outside to retrieve said open air basket of muffins then we hear audio <laughs> of kids screaming. <laughs> Guys, why why are we doing that? The kids had to be on set. Like, what was it? Were we that close on budget that these kids had to be there and they couldn't get a line or two? Like to say yeah. they were in a movie? Yeah. It just seemed weird. Those kids are extras. Those kids are extra. That's extras. All. They're extras. They're extra. Uh, we did, everybody. Congratulations. Yeah, the good news is it's not the last movie of the week because we got a Hannah Swenson mm -hmm. Apple movie to Hannah talk about, Apple. Uh, which coincidentally, this movie also talked about apples. Big week Poof. for apples. Big week for apples. Is it a fall? Is it, are we in fall harvest already? Yeah. No. Are we double decker of the week? I guess we could. Are we ready for it? Let's find out. It's time for the double decker of the week. It's where we do the deep dive into the life of one of our double deckers. That's signed up at BrambleGenPlus.com at the double decker tier or higher. Dan, who do we have today? We have Colleen Sullivan. Whoa. Colleen, Colleen Sullivan. Sullivan. 
Great. Right. Wow, that's Brian, exciting. Uh, yeah. you have been handed the keys to uh, the Google keys Plus to, the castle. to right. do this Last deep dive. Week, couldn't have gone worse. You walked in. Try to like bring it back. You mm-hmm. walked in today, though, yeah. with a bit of a smirk on your yeah. face. And I, and I, I have a, a feeling it has my step. something to do <laughs> with the Double Decker of the Week. <laughs> yeah. Tell yeah. me about it. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm Colleen up to. Yeah, Colleen Sullivan, she has an idea. For okay. something it's amazing, this yes, is great. Some, she's got yeah. an idea. Everybody, she's got an idea, and it's it's a really good idea. Okay. It's something that like the way she explained it to me. I was part of the focus group. You were in the focus super group. Super excited. Didn't even mention it to us. Yeah. That's unbelievable. I've been trying to hold this back. Yeah, yeah. huh? You got paid? Huh? You got focus paid? group? No, focus group. No, is, just, yeah, I just well, group. paid to be in focus group. Oh, you get paid for that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I also Brian's actually got so much got, money. He just didn't even know got, the streams of revenue. I this got guy some has. shares in this business yeah, actually. Okay, so yeah. let's be nice. You know, if you got some little stuff hanging around, you want to put it put it away, but you don't want to like get you don't you don't want. Ah, give me that example. You to write you know, like, these. You give me a quick example. Little, little, little stuff. stuff. You want to put what away. do you mean little I stuff? I have found little stuff is the little easiest things. stuff to put away. You just rake it in a drawer. But you want to take it with you, have it handy. You just put, said it, put it, it away. You didn't say take yeah, it. Yeah, you, you put it away into something. You don't want to hold it in your hands. You want, like some coins you get or some goldfish. But you, you don't want it to get lost in the shuffle. You get a bag. So Colleen came up with this product. You get a bag. It's a it's it's a it's a it's a take on a bag. Is it like a tiny 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 little thing? Right, the name is important. You'll okay. get it when you say it. <laughs> that you put stuff and you take it with you. I'll you put get it, it when I say yeah, it. Yeah. You'll when, get it. When so Brian there's no it. way that I'll get it until I say it. No, no, no. I'll say it. You'll and I'm not get gonna it. get it. You're okay. gonna get I got it. it. I got the it. one thing she's a little concerned about. Little concerned that has it been long enough? Has it been long enough? Let's find out. The name of her product: smallpox. Ooh, ooh. Look, just like small little pockets. Dan, I could see you're struggling with getting it. Go ahead and say it. <laughs> small pox. I got it. I got it. It took us so a second. little. It's, what is it? So you, Colleen decided <laughs> yeah. in order to store a long time ago, little she stuff, had this idea. She's going to name it after a nope. disease? No. Nope. <laughs> This was probably before the disease came out that she thought of this idea. Um, you know what? She had another idea. Yeah. Uh, it was where two people could share the cost of a rental at Blockbuster. Yeah. It's called COVID. Um, <laughs> you think that's going to fly? Cool. Or I not? can't wait until she good. comes out with those Too quarter. Soon? Those Should we wait until year 3,000 for saying. that one? The timing is important. <laughs> I can't wait until she comes up with the quarter size salt teens called quarantines. Yes. It's going to be amazing. Colin, write that down. So, gonna be like I said, the focus group is is working, but I feel like it's is been, it? I feel she like, came up with a beer is called. It working? I feel like it's, I feel like it's time. So there's small pockets, small pockets, yeah. Small, and the problem, you know, they that detach yeah. from you need, person you need a lot or of them. Yeah, you, you could, yeah, you could Velcro, you could sew them, you do whatever, put them all over. So their pockets come pre done for you. You have no, to no. You put them on wherever Colleen, you want. This them. sounds like the worst idea well, I've ever heard. What's the focus group saying so far? They like it. It's a little split down the middle. Where were you on the heavy hitters? Can you say that since I. I mean, like I mentioned, I have a little stake in this, early. so I'm all in on this smallpox. And unfortunately, <laughs> all in. Uh, Brian I'm is taking, all in on smallpox. Taking the panda root, and so are Brian all of us. The rapture's coming every time anything shakes, and Brian is all in on smallpox. Yeah. You heard it here, as first. you should be too. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks, Colleen, for I such didn't a say, great I didn't say anything about the rapture. I just said Jesus is coming back. People Don't put words. Jesus, Jesus is, is coming soon. We're we going home. People get ready. Jesus is coming soon. Where the world is on. Uh, we'll we are. Home. We're gonna be back tomorrow with "We Calls the Heart," uh, and then Thursday, "Bad Apple." <laughs> Until then, we're the first to wish you a Merry Christmas. Mark's the Bravel Jam podcast is produced by Aaron Shea. What? For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on the Deck the Hallmark family, you can go to bramblejamplus.com. Deck the Hallmark is presented by Philo TV. For a free trial of Philo, go to philo.tv slash DTH. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here in the old studio. Thanks for listening or don't listen. It's really up to you at this point. It's at the end of the show. I mean, you're listening to me. Hi. But here they come. I promise they're coming. Yep, here they are. Happy day. If you travel, you know when it comes to love. See you soon. Can't wait. The sky is no limit. You know with your Delta Amex card, being oceans apart means meeting in Aruba. And booking a war travel with your card means saving 15% on Delta flights. You know kissing under the bridge of size 
guarantees eternal love. Because you're the long-distance lovebirds. It's why you're a Delta SkyMiles Platinum American Express card member. If you travel, you know. Takeoff 15 discount not applicable to partner operated flights or taxes and fees. Terms apply. Visit go.amex slash you know. If you travel, you know how to pull off a perfect getaway. You know after you enroll with your Delta SkyMiles Platinum American Express card, you get up to $10 back monthly on U.S. rideshare purchases with select providers, like a car to the airport. You know which remote retreats have the best herbal baths, and where the Wi-Fi password is rarely used. Because you're the escape artist. It's why you're a Delta SkyMiles Platinum American Express card member. If you travel, you know. Terms apply. Purchases must be on card. Visit go.amex slash you know. If you travel, you know how to pull off a perfect getaway. You know after you enroll with your Delta SkyMiles Platinum American Express card, you get up to $10 back monthly on U.S. rideshare purchases with select providers, like a car to the airport. You know which remote retreats have the best herbal baths, and where the Wi-Fi password is rarely used. Because you're the escape artist. It's why you're a Delta SkyMiles Platinum American Express card member. If you travel, you know. Terms apply. Purchases must be on card. Visit go.amex slash you know. If you travel, you know when it comes to love. See you soon. Can't wait. The sky is no limit. You know with your Delta Amex card, being oceans apart means meeting in Aruba. And booking a war travel with your card means saving 15% on Delta flights. You know kissing under the bridge of size guarantees eternal love. Because you're the long-distance lovebirds. It's why you're a Delta SkyMiles Platinum American Express card member. If you travel, you know. Takeoff 15 discount not applicable to partner operated flights or taxes and fees. Terms apply. Visit go.amex slash you know. If you travel, you know when it comes to love. See you soon. Can't wait. The sky is no limit. You know with your Delta Amex card, being oceans apart means meeting in Aruba. And booking a war travel with your card means saving 15% on Delta flights. You know kissing under the bridge of size guarantees eternal love. Because you're the long-distance lovebirds. It's why you're a Delta SkyMiles Platinum American Express card member. If you travel, you know. Takeoff 15 discount not applicable to partner operated flights or taxes and fees. Terms apply. Visit go.amex slash you know.